Hey guys, I got some new toys for my truck to do oil changes. They're called Rhino Ramps. They're rated for 16,000, which means the entire weight of the vehicle. So each ramp can take 4,000. I think my truck weighs about 8,000 with fuel in me in it. So when I pull it up on the ramps, you know, there should only be about half the load on each corner. Here they are. As you can see, they're about 8 inches tall, I think. Um, the reason I got these was, number one, I got a gift card for my birthday for O'Reilly Auto Parts, so I had to spend it. And uh, I knew that if I was going to do my own oil changes or own maintenance on this truck, since it's stock height, it's really hard to get underneath the front of it because it's so low from the factory with that air dam. So uh, I went ahead and purchased these ramps. Um, I found that I had to put it in four-wheel drive in order to get it up onto the ramps and uh, that keeps the front ones from slipping out from underneath the wheels. Um, but it gives me plenty of room over my chest to slide under that air dam and be able to access uh, the filter and the oil pan nut. Um, aside from that, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much, you know, the only tool I needed Besides what I already had to do my own oil changes and maintenance on the front end of the truck including greasing the ball joints and tie rod ends and everything else. Um, they look pretty sturdy. They don't feel sturdy but they look sturdy when you pull them up. There's really no flex in the sidewalls of the uh, ramps. Um, they're plastic composite probably, some sort of nylon. Um, so they're not very heavy. Uh, they stack, they're stackable. So you can stack all four of them together and store them pretty easily. Um, you know, and I think they're pretty durable. They have a two-year warranty from O'Reilly Auto Parts. I think they were about $59.95 each, so they're about $60 each. In total with tax, it cost me $125. Um, if you don't want to pull out your heavy jack and jack stands every time you want to do an oil change, if your truck is not lifted, I would totally suggest getting some of these ramps. Um, that's my review. I think bang for the buck, they're definitely worth getting. All right. As you can see guys, I can actually fit underneath my truck now without too much trouble thanks to my Rhino ramps. They're definitely overkill, they're rated for 16,000 and I think this truck weighs about 8,000 with me and fuel. Um, I don't really keep much in it at any time so, um, you know, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable than just buying the uh, 12,000 pound ramps which were about $10 cheaper per ramp. Uh, I think if you're going to spend the money, you might as well get the extra 4,000 pounds of capacity. Um, that's combined between all four. Uh, so 16,000 for four rather than 12,000 for four. So that's about 1,000 pounds each extra capacity for a measly $10. I think it's a good deal. Definitely easier pulling the jack and jack stands out every time I want to do an oil change. And it keeps me from marring up the uh, under coating on the frame rails. Anyway, I'll give you another view from the other side.
take back the no sidewall flex. You can see there's a little bit on the driver's side front in the ramp. I think it's because it's pulled over a little bit too far to the right, but it's kind of hard actually with these wide tires on here to kind of figure out where the center is, um, especially because this road is not level and there's a crown in the middle, so it's a little bit hard to line them all up, but uh, you know, I did my best. So anyway, I feel I would feel safe being underneath this thing. Uh, especially since the tires are still on it, even if they do break, I know that I fit underneath the frame uh, in the lowest part of the vehicle with uh, the tires on the ground, so I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get crushed. Now, if I was under the air dam in the front, I would definitely get crushed by the air dam, but I'm pretty sure that would just break because it's plastic. Anyway, these are pretty cool. I like them and I'm not going to use them just yet because I still have one more free oil change at 20000 on my free two years of maintenance uh, program from GMC so I'm just going to use that and then after that's over you know I'll go to the full Mobile One synthetic oil with uh, M1303 synthetic fiber media filter and um, I think that'll be an upgrade over the stock AC Delco filter that's already on there from the factory um, and I think that oil will be an upgrade over the standard mobile Delvac, you know, dyno oil. Um, but, you know, as long as I get free oil changes, I'll take them, you know, because it's going to cost me about 100 bucks with synthetic and, and, uh, and the M1303 filter to do it myself, so I might as well save some change and put it towards the truck payment, which I can't wait to be done with. Alright, there you go guys. These right on ramps are really neat. You can see how much extra clearance they give me. For the oil pan and I could probably even get a five gallon bucket underneath there to do my oil which would make it a lot easier than trying to use a, a pan especially because they drain so slowly that you know it's hard to get all the oil into the pan without it overflowing first and they seem pretty sturdy you can see how little sidewall flex there is in that plastic but these are the biggest one that Rhino Ramp makes. They're actually made by Flow Tool, which you know they make a lot of other things for the um, automobile industry. You know, when it comes to oil changes, they make funnels that actually screw in where the oil cap goes. Um, makes it a lot easier to fill up without your funnel falling out of your fill tube. They also make some fill tubes that screw in, and then they're big enough to put a uh, one gallon oil container in so that you can let the whole thing drain and get the most oil you can out of your container without having to hold it up because they're pretty heavy you know when they're when they're one gallon but uh, anyway I'm happy with these ramps they seem pretty well made and they're cheap enough 60 bucks each that with my gift card it just made sense to pick them up from O'Reilly Auto Parts Alright guys, so the other thing I was uh, talking about in my video is that I primarily bought these Rhino ramps by Flow Tool for the um, ability to get underneath my truck on my creeper um, and do it without rubbing my belly on the, uh, you know, on the uh, air dam and the skid plates and the transmission cross member. I haven't measured them, but I think they give you about eight inches of lift. So, just wanted to show you guys that even with your truck on these ramps you'll still be able to actually get in your under your hood to do the oil change here's my creeper it's a jeeper creeper by Lyle tools really like this thing the wheels are getting a little chewed up from this asphalt that I use it on if you have a cement driveway then you know you won't have have an issue with that but I don't so hopefully soon I will but not right now anyway let's see if I can do this with one hand there we go. Ah, it hurts. 
Okay, I'm six foot two. And, and let me see, give you some perspective here. You can see with that lift, you know, it's much higher than it would normally be. So you, it's going to make it easier to get the filter off and drain the oil. But putting the oil in is going to be a little bit harder. However, I'm not standing on anything. And bam, I can take that oil fill lid right off. And, uh, you know, I'll be able to get my flow tool funnel in there and pour my oil in. Off topic, everything under the hood is stock, even down to the air filter. You can see I have the ballast for my 35 watt HIDs that I got from Diode Dynamics. I really like these. Probably going to go back to the factory harness if I can find it because I don't like the way I had to run the wiring. So you can see I had to run it across. Um, the radiator support and right here to this uh, battery there's the fuse and I've j I mean just wires all over the place uh, it's not too bad you know it's probably just a preference thing it really doesn't make a difference it doesn't get in the way of anything but over here on this side I had to run the ground and the only place I could find to run the ground for the ballast was down to the um, was down to a screw underneath the air filter box so if I want to take the air filter box there's actually a wire running down here somewhere I can't find it right now but it's running down below it and it's kinda of in the way when I'm checking the air filter and uh, as you can see it is a little bit dusty under here I do drive this thing off-road quite a bit and here's another thing while I'm at it when the dealer fills up the DEF fluid, they just pour it all over the place. I mean, they really don't even try and clean it up. I actually cleaned that up. It was worse. There was like white stuff all over this tube and this cross member thing. And I mean, it's just like they just don't even use a funnel. They just pour it in there. All, and You know, it splatters and they don't even try to clean it up. So <sighs> anyway, um, so even with this thing on the ramps, I'm still able to get to my oil filler tube uh, fairly easily and it's not an issue. Uh, now if you're five feet tall it might be a little bit harder and you might need to get a step stool but um, the benefits of these ramps far exceed um, you know the cons so anyway this is my review of the flow tool rhino ramp 16,000 pound capacity lift ramps that I'm using on my 2015 GMC Sierra 3500 HD Denali crew cab short bed Duramax diesel house and transmission four wheel drive. Okay guys I'm gonna pull my truck off the ramps just so you can see what it looks like and I'm gonna pull them back on.
his back.